Giddy up, giddy up. Daisy, Poppy, don't ride your hobby horses on the breakfast table. Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The twins really like ponies at the moment. Hmm. They really want a pet. And ponies are lovely pets. So pretty and cuddly. And they've got long, swishy tails to brush. Daisy and Poppy would so love a pony. Pony, pony. Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous. And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies. No pony. <coughs> Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute. Pets need looking after. Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm, a snake. Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wriggly snakey. An alligator. Alligator, alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet, a hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. <laughs> hey, calm. I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <coughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready! <laughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on to what? Oh no! We can't reach Nanny Plum! Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough! Oh no! Lost in space! And I never even went to the toilet! Here's your lasso, Ben! Thanks, Dad! Keep still! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you! Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum! Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf! Honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. This adventure continues in our next episode, Picnic on the Moon. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Look how high I can jump! This is brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, Plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. Plant the flag. Done. Three, 
go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this sea of tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the sea of tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien! Amazing! This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen ever! Do you think you'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes! <laughs> Feeling good! No! Don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. 